What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today it's just gonna be more of a low key kind of chill video where we can kind of hang out and talk. I might start doing more of these depending on how this one goes, um, if you guys like it or not. Uh, but today we're just gonna go for a drive and we're gonna talk about a topic um, that I think is pretty interesting. And uh, that topic is gonna be car meets. More specifically, I'm talking about nighttime car meets. So if you're into cars, I'm sure you're familiar with nighttime car meets. But if you're not, I'm sure that you're probably thinking right now along the lines of something like this. <laughs> car meets and that is not the same thing <laughs> those are takeovers and unfortunately takeovers are giving the car community a really bad rap you know you'll see it all over TikTok and you know Instagram where these short little videos of people doing donuts and getting seriously hurt by the actions that some of these people are taking and um, I don't know it just sets a bad tone for everyone in the car community and I think it really makes like the police force, you know, on edge or extra cautious when it comes to these nighttime meets. For an example, the other night, sorry, it just started raining here, but the other night, uh, Megan and I actually went to a nighttime car meet and it was just a small little event here, but there ended up being five cops that showed up. Nobody was revving their car. Nobody was doing anything of that nature. We were all just standing around looking and talking to each other about our cars and our different builds and, and whatever, right? But they must have got a call and at that point, I mean, it was one that showed up, then a second, third, and when I saw the fifth one, I'm like, oh man, they, they are shutting this down for sure. But to my surprise, the cool part is, honestly, they were there for a few minutes Everyone kind of talked with them and was really respectful um, and they, they honestly just wanted to check out the, uh, the meet to make sure probably that nothing crazy was going on and uh, to fulfill the request. I'm sure someone called it in and uh, wanted them to go check it out. But yeah, they ended up all leaving and we were able to continue on with the meet for the evening. So that was kind of cool. But it kind of goes back to my original point of when you know, people see a bunch of cars now gathering in an empty parking lot. I feel that the normal person that's not into cars, they kind of think like, oh yeah, I've seen videos online of where all this stuff goes south. I'm gonna call the cops. I told you not to park on my private property. This is public street parking. Oh, you did not just honk at me. About three years ago, we moved down from Wisconsin to Georgia and knew pretty much nobody. And then, so like a year and a half ago or so, I started kind of getting the itch to be like, you know what, I'm gonna try to, you know, meet more people. And, you know, we've been doing the YouTube thing for a while, which I really enjoy. And I'm gonna go to a couple car meets and, and you know, see if I can meet some people. And I don't know make some friends. <laughs> Getting into a little bit of a story here. About a year and a half ago or so, um, there was a local car meet, nighttime car meet, that I heard about just randomly. And Megan and I were just at home one night, and it was a later meet, meeting at like 9 p.m. or so. And I was like, well, you know, I think I'm gonna go. So it's about 9 p.m.-ish, I go and I, I pull up. It's pretty local, so it didn't take long to get there. Um, you know, you pull in, there's already a bunch of cars there, quite a few, I mean, it was a, still a small meet. Um, but everyone's watching you pull in, and it's different if you go to a meet and you're like, you, you have friends that you, you go with, you know, it kind of eases the tension a little bit. Um, because it can be a little awkward if you, you know, you don't know anybody. But I showed up, got out of the car, and I just started kind of looking at cars and there was actually another Mustang there. So I actually, I found that owner and I was just talking with him. And then lo and behold, he knew the guy that kind of put on the meat. So he introduced me to him. And then that guy started talking to me about his build and then so on and so forth. I started meeting a bunch of people at that small little meet. 
and it was pretty cool. Like, I mean, I don't know, that was my first one I went to here in Georgia, and I was able to meet, you know, five or six people um, and kind of talk to them about their builds and things like that. And I haven't gone to a ton, honestly, here in Georgia yet, but it's something that within the last few weeks, I've really decided that I'm gonna get back into and, uh, and going to these meets just to meet more people and hopefully more of you guys. If you guys are in the Georgia area and you guys think it'd be cool, maybe we could get a daily driven meet together. I think that'd be cool. Or at least a cruise. You guys let me know down in the comment section if that would be of interest to you. I don't care what build you have, if you have a Mustang, you got a GT, you got an EcoBoot, whatever. I don't care. And another point on that, you know, you have your, your large meets like Caffeine and Octane or Cars and Coffee, that's usually pretty large. Um, and then you have these little pop-up meets at night, which, you know, the Caffeine and Octane meets are awesome. You get to see so much, there's so many people there. But at the same time, you know, everyone's kind of, you know, secluded into their sections. You have the real high dollar stuff, which tends to get the most attention, I feel. Um, and at these small little nighttime meets, it can be anything, it, you know? It's usually not like some high dollar builds that everyone's showing off. You bring whatever, it could be an old Nissan, you know, it could be a Nissan 350Z that, you know, it's pretty much stock, but it's old and has 200,000 miles on it. But someone's proud of that car, so they brung it, you know? Or they, they set it up as a drift car or whatever. The point is, is that not everyone has to have a crazy expensive car to get people to look at it and pay attention to it. You know, there's just a lot of really cool people that tend to go to these nighttime meets and uh, just enjoy their builds and enjoy other builds. So that's the cool part. And that's what I fear is like these takeover events are really putting kind of a bad taste in the mouth of a lot of uh, not only enthusiasts, but more importantly, non-car enthusiasts, which then call the cops on a lot of these smaller little meets thinking that they're gonna get out of hand. And I'm not gonna justify all of them because there are a lot of other meets that, you know, turn into like rev-offs with little Honda Civics, revving the crap out of their cars, things like that, you know, that, you know, companies, parking lots, you know, people that are, you know, restaurants, if it's in a parking lot or something like that, they don't necessarily want. But if you're respectful and you're there to have fun, that's where I think the value is in these small meets. So. Guys, I just wanted to talk about this little topic here with you. Nothing crazy in this video, but what do you guys think? If you've watched this whole thing all the way through, what do you guys think of nighttime car meets? Have you gone? Would you go? Or is it something that's kind of falling off and uh, not as popular anymore? Let me know down below. And with that being said, don't forget to hit the like button on the video. That really helps me out and helps grow the channel. Just showing it to more people. And uh, guys, I will catch you in the next video. You guys have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.